what's going on creators yeah i just want to get on here and uh bring everybody back to now <laughs> appreciate y'all being here and uh vibe with me for a bit yeah today i got a couple things to talk about you know hopefully add something positive to your mental diet um you know i find that to be very important to your overall well-being is you know where are you putting your attention where are you putting your energy at you know what are you consuming through a screen you know i think a lot of that plays a big role in how you're interacting with life you know, and, um, you know, if you're focused on the abyss and the, the hysteria and the shit show of the world, you know, it's like, I feel like that has an influence on um, your day to day, even if you're not, sub, you know, consciously aware of it, you know, just planting those seeds in your subconscious that breed a lot of separation and fear, I don't think is the best way to go about um you know your mental diet but that's just my opinion you can you can do what you want you know i spent many years in the in the bog <laughs> as some would say but like uh you know having come out of that on some level you know it's important to me i guess to uh yeah just kind of shake a lot of that kind of programming and spells um because th that's what a lot of it turns out to be you know it's like it, it turns into these narratives and these stories that you start to tell yourself about your identity about your position in the world your 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 all these different things are all influenced by your mental diet and a lot of times like uh media in general can can be used you know consciously or even unconsciously to kind of um create a group think or a mass formation as some would call it you know and especially when it comes to like the um the antichrist spirit that you see uh, in the in the world you know this authoritarian uh unlogical non-logos based um reasoning you know that you see um playing out over and over again in these cycles you know it's always kind of trying to build this one world global thing you know with like you know, it's basically, you know, it's like this goat mentality of like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to be the king of the world and just sit on top of my mountain and bask in the, in the, the, the top of the hill, <laughs> you know, until somebody, some other goat grabs me off and throws me down and then I, and then it repeats over and over again. But we've all participated in that and some of, I know I have, you know, I tried to uh, not do that so much like with like the, like uh, my current businesses, you know, I tried to be the change on some level, you know, and like, you know, with that, you know, it's like, I just got done, um, you know, with a really big job, you know, me and me and my guy just finished that up, which is really satisfying on some level. Um, I don't know if I still have that. I don't know. I, I showed it before, but this, ch you know, checklist of stuff is like 60 something pages you know we some of the bigger stuff we were like uh you know painting the entire inside of their house put a bunch of doors in and then we did this um this backsplash i'll show you guys a picture of the backsplash at least um let me i guess it's pulled up yeah so this is like the before and we painted this green color on there I didn't realize, you know, I don't know why I painted so far in, <laughs> you know, I didn't know um, what was, you know, if that was going to be open, because the, the tiles were kind of sketchy on whether or not uh, there'd be enough, and, you know, I, I figured it'd be easier just to paint underneath this hood and stuff, but this is the after, you know, which looked really sharp in person, um, made me really want to get, uh, do this in my own kitchen, <laughs> um, yeah, it was surprisingly, um, you know, went together really nice. Um, you know, there wasn't any big issues or anything. Yeah, it, it, I think it had a cool overall energy to it. Yeah, definitely a, f a fun little space. Yeah, let me get this off of here now. Yeah, I just wanted to show that. I showed you guys like a picture, you know, through my phone, and I, and I look. I normally like play these after I get done, just to make sure the audio and everything sounds okay. And um, yeah, I couldn't even see, <laughs> you know, what I was trying to show you guys. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to like kind of show that. But like, um, yeah, the, the problem though is, um, yeah, now I'm trying to. I don't. I don't know why you know sometimes you know things just kind of just get out of sync but like um yeah i finished that job i had another job to do which was going to pay um because i got this vehicle you know it, this basically a trade where i was like trade like 22 hours of my time uh doing doing jobs around this person's house 
for a vehicle and like um yeah they were supposed to it's supposed to be this week and just knock it out in a couple days and like um yeah i guess the uh, the the ladies grandparents are in a nursing home and she's gonna come up and visit them and like the nursing home's on lockdown <laughs> you know so that got pushed over you know like um yeah so trying to get some jobs for my guy to do you know this week i'm sure it'll all kind of like come together we didn't work yesterday just because i didn't i was just wanted to like kind of just unwind from that big checklist and normally like um yeah, when it was just me uh, doing handyman jobs and stuff, I I would like do a bunch of jobs, get get like money for the month, and then just not you know do anything else. You know, it's like well, if I only need you know a couple grand to pay the bills and everything, then I'll, I'll work like a week or two and then take a week or two off, <laughs> you know, and like focus on like the chick, you know, doing shit around my house. And so it's, now it's kind of weird because it's like oh I I gotta make sure he's busy and you know, I don't want him to you know not have like money and whatnot and so trying to get some things for him to do you know hopefully you can kind of hear my furnace is running you know the seasons have changed on some level there's snow on the ground uh which kind of uh, you know I, I get a bunch of outdoor things that were supposed to try to get done you know before the weather changed and we'll see it's supposed to be in the 50s today and 60s tomorrow and so uh, yeah we might have some time to get it done but like um We'll find out, you know, but like, um, yeah, I just want to give that kind of update. The, uh, the turkey does not have much longer, um, you know, in this world, basically, you know, we got, I don't know, a week and a half till Thanksgiving and yeah, you're going to send the turkey to, to heaven, <laughs> you know, and, and, um, yeah, the chickens, they're laying a bunch of eggs, you know, they're about, I think anywhere between six and nine eggs a day, you know, which um, it's pretty overwhelming amount of eggs, you know, it's like, I, I, for, we don't eat that many eggs, you know, and, and like, now it's just like, what are you gonna do with all these eggs, you know, it's like, you know, which is, I guess is a good problem, it kind of feels like having like a revenue stream on some level, because like, we, we've been selling the eggs, giving the eggs away to people, you know, just so that they could have some like, you know, I was at the grocery store, and they had like, I can't remember if they're happy eggs, or what the, what they were, but like, there's like eight dollars, for a dozen eggs, it's like, what in the, I mean, what are they feeding these things, you know, it couldn't be any, you know, any, any well, you know, any more well taken care of than ours, you know, they, they, they're out in the, uh, and they're, we chained off an area, you know, for them to kind of, I don't know, roam, <laughs> you know, roam around pecking at the ground and, and shit, you know, and then the uh, chicken coop itself is, you know, a pretty big, you know, it's a big area for them. Yeah, it's like morning time where I'm at. I just like got up a little bit ago. Uh, yeah, I was getting ready to start the day off. But like, um, yeah, I wanted to get on here and like uh, kind of give an update, kind of share some things. You know, I wanted to talk too about like forgiveness and how how much like the the mind wrestles with that. You know, trying to forgive somebody that's like wronged you, especially if they're being a fucking asshole. You know, and they don't really deserve to be forgiven. You know, it's just like um. Like, they know better, they should know better, because it's, like, been, like, um, you know, something that you've maybe brought to them before, um, and they've repeatedly just keep doing the same shit over and over again, you know, unconsciously in a lot of different ways, but, like, um, looking at that situation, kind of, like, you know, what does Jesus say to do is, like, forgive them 70 times 7, so it's, like, whatever that number, you know, I feel like that's almost like a sarcastic number, <laughs> like, I don't think there's actually, like, that, like a, what is 7 times 7, 49, so forgive somebody 490 times for the same thing, I don't know if that's 491, okay, now, now get the fuck out of here, you know, but, like, um, I kind of take that more as just, like, almost like a joke, <laughs> just it's like, oh, huh, how many times you forgive them, a million times a million, I don't know, Okay, uh, so, you know, kind of getting that on the radar is like, okay, well, especially when you realize, like, part of it, too, has something to do with you leveling up in consciousness, and as soon as you forgive that person completely, you know, you will feel, um, like, amazing, you'll feel a lot better, but there's still this resistance to it, you know, so, like, kind of a little homework today, you know, think of, like, somebody who's just, like, when you think of them, they just immediately get this negative dissonance in your own being like uh you know fuck that person you know whoever just came up in your mind you know when i said that you know take that person you know and let's like start you know even if you can't 
at this moment, you know, physically come up to them and like give them a hug and say, oh, you know, I forgive you, I love you, you know, blah, blah, blah. And maybe it's like somebody did a crime against you and like you hope they're getting raped in prison and like experiencing a hell in there. You know, if, if it's out in that level, you know, some serious shit. You know, holding on to these grievances and holding on to um, um, I'm a victim mentality um, is not helpful for your consciousness, you know, and so, um, you know, because it, it, it uh, as you're thinking about that person and attacking them in your mind, you're, you're choosing to attack and vengeance instead of being at peace, you know, and so you can kind of see how a lot of that kind of like mental activity is connected, you know, because, you know, it, ultimately the forg- forgiveness is not so much about the other person. It's also about you, you know, and letting go of this kind of shit in your own being, you know, and not to like, you know, you know, put some like weird energy out there, but you know, like Jesus was saying, we're supposed to forgive others so that we can be forgiven. Part of that, I feel like, is that connectedness dynamic of it. You know, not not to sit there and like, um, you know, get too deep into it, but like, um, you know, see where you're at with it. You know, and that specific person where it's like you're. Oh, you know, how dare you even make me think about that piece of shit person or, you know, whatever. Maybe it's the they, um, you know, the truth community is probably the they, you know, it's like, oh, you know, the, uh, the quote unquote elites, even though you're the elite. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, so what, whoever and whatever it is, you know, it could just be the system. You know, it could just be like life circumstances you're not forgiving, um, anything that you're holding attention, anything you're complaining about, you know, that's another big one. You know, look at everything you're complaining is actually creating more of the, the thing that you're complaining about. <laughs> it's like you're amplifying it with your attention. It's like, you're, that's how powerful you are though. I mean, it's like what you put your attention on grows a thing, you know? So think of, you know, think of it like that, you know, it's like, do I want to continuously grow this in my garden of life? Um, yeah, because the shit to complain about, things to bitch and complain about, you know, and then, oh, shocking, you know, uh, there's even more things to bitch and complain about, you know, once I just started getting into that kind of flow, now it's just everywhere, <laughs> you know, and so, you know, t- not, but don't sh- guilt and shame yourself for like, you know, I just got a bunch of shit, you know, I'm pissed off about and people that I could care less if they jumped off a cliff, you know, just take it, take it where you're at start moving in that direction you know see see what are you capable of letting go of today you know can, can you think about that person and then just in your mind what, what's what's the maximum you can do can you hope they don't die today can, can you take, take that baby step can, can you hope that today you know they're they're not going to die you know and then then move it up to you know okay well I could do that but then on the other end of it you know, if it, if thinking about them causes some like dark feelings and dark energy within you, you know, I know something I do, which I feel like is like a, a, a bad habit. It's like as soon as I feel like dark like impulses or dark, um, like wanting to kill somebody or like um, hoping they die or you know, hoping something bad happens to them or oh, I hope I hope you get your karma, you you know, and, and like um that kind of like hoping vengeance happens on somebody hoping um somebody suffers because they just you know made you suffer even though it's like you know getting out of like that kind of mindset that that the outer circumstances and events can have an influence over your inner conversation your inner activity you know is part of an issue um to start working on too but like um you know you know feeling those impulses you know a lot of times it's like, oh, you know, um, I don't want to, um, I don't want God to be mad at me. I just had this dark feeling or this dark imagining, um, and I immediately wanted to pretend like that didn't didn't happen. You know, it's, it's like, oh, you know, somebody really wronged you. You know, say somebody just like really wronged you, or you know, some tragedy happened, or you know, something that happened to cause you to be angry, or to view the situation as angry at least. Um, you know, because a lot of times, you know, you could have two people in a room and I, you know, I can testify to this, you know, it's like, I've been around some people, a, a sunny day could make them upset, <laughs> you know, meanwhile, you know, you could look at the exact same situation and, and it doesn't, it doesn't even appear to be an issue. You know, a lot of these things, it depends on your, your mental conversation. And if you're already been telling yourself, 
um, drama and, and whatever for weeks on end. It doesn't take, you know, that little bit of spark to just, uh, just you know, a lot of times, you know, if you're not being mindful of the present moment and you drift into these states of unconsciousness, you know, pretty easily, you know, if you're not um, bringing, bringing yourself back to, hey, you know, this is only ever now, you know, it's like, why? Why am I drifting into the, you know, how long am I going to be doing this mental activity all day? I'm going to waste my whole day doing this for what, a fifth, like a five minute ordeal, like an actual ordeal or, you know, and then I'm going to spend weeks, hours, days, you know, however long in my mind, upset about it, pissed off about it, you know, wishing death on people, hoping, you know, worst case scenarios happen to somebody else or, you know, whatever we're telling ourselves so that they get theirs and we can f somehow feel better by watching them suffer. Um, you know, catch those feelings when they happen, but then also realize that it's happening for a reason and it's there regardless of whether you want to process it or not. But instead of like feeling it and then immediately pushing it away, you know, just watch it, you know, let it, let it run its course, let, let the thought run its course, let the emotion run its course, uh, you know, don't even, you know, don't resist it, you know, because as you resist it and battle against it, you're kind of creating a different energy dynamic between, you know, inside of yourself that doesn't, doesn't appear to be very helpful. It seems to prolong it, you know, but like, um, instead, you know, experience it and then ask God what to do about it. You know, it's like, wh you know, what do you think about this? You know, go within yourself and ask, you know, so you got to ask because that's, that's part of like the, the rules, you know, of consciousness is, you know, nothing is put on you unless you ask for it. You know, it's, it's, because free will is very important. It's like you can you can see people going in these states, and every state has like a consequence to it. You know, there's a consequence to the state. You know, especially if you're, you know, like maybe a maybe a thief as being a state. You know, it's like um, you know, if you're you know in that state, it's not surprising then if you get arrested. <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's like a consequence. You hear that like like gangster lifestyle. You know, it's like oh, you know, it's gonna so end up you know, getting, you know, end up in jail or shot, you know, or killed or whatever. It's like, you know, the consequence of that state, you know, it's like, I feel like, you know, part of creation is nothing's really hid. It's like told to you, you know, it's, e even if it comes off as like almost like jokingly, even though it's not a joke, <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, it's like um, with the, like, the ins experimental medical injections, you know, people submit, you know, are giving themselves over to the, to these things. You know, it's like, I've talked to like a few people and there's like, oh, you know, before you get it, you sign these paperwork that just like you know, blatantly tell you, um, this is an experimental thing. You know, there's no liability if you get injured from this, you know, and it's all just spelled out right there, you know, and, and like it might be given to you in like a haphazard type of way. But it's just like the same thing with like the, the, the mask shit where it says it on the box. It doesn't do anything to prevent spreads of infection, <laughs> you know. And so it's like, you know, it, it's in your face, obvious. And there's like people that are kind of like delusional, you know, kind of on the spell of this authoritarian fear, hysterical, whatever. You know, it's like they'll look at you like you're a conspiracy theorist, even if you show them like, hey, it says it on the box, you know they have to put this on there for legal liability reasons um what do you make of that then it's like go away <laughs> yeah you know, it's, you know having having that kind of like i don't want to hear it type of um uh, vibes to people you know and, and it's like you, you can kind of try to you know push that on people put that on people but you know, it, it's got to be on them whether they they want to take the next step, whether they want to continue down the road. And it's like, you know, I get to a point. It's like, you know, who am I to, to know what's going on in their soul progression? You know, it's, I don't know what's best for them. You know, God knows what's best for them. You know, it's like, you know, a lot of times I feel like the best thing to do for others is just to trust that God's will is playing out perfectly in their life right now. You know, it's, I don't need to know what lessons they're trying to do or what they're trying to achieve. You know, I don't, we, nobody knows that kind of stuff, you know? So it's like, it's better not to sit there and judge other people like that, especially if you're condemning other people, which is like kind of a no, no, because then you're condemning yourself and you, that's not who you are. And so, you know, 
all this stuff is about kind of your identity but you know in that identity you know when these things you know are brought to your consciousness you know maybe maybe god creates some sort of a drama shit show in your marriage for some reason you know it's like you sit there being so angry at the other person you know and, and but look at that you know like ask yourself you know why why did that happen you know what you know it's like okay i've been angry for days you know uh for what why, why was i so triggered by that you know and what's the good that comes out of this you know or, or maybe you have like harsh feelings you're just like oh i just i just wanted to get in the vehicle and just drive away and never come back and you know this and that you know and it's like you know part of you is like oh well you know that's not a christian thing to think oh that's that's not you know that's not what jesus would do you know jesus would do this and that and you know and and so there's like this immediate like you know inner conflict between um how you're feeling versus how you think you should feel you know and and in that conflict you know take take that moment to um be still let let that thought play out you know let let it run its course you know did that and then when it's finished did that feel true you know a lot of times you know it's like if especially if you're married and it's like you got these things you just want to attack the other person about for some reason you know it's like once you say it and then it's like no that doesn't even feel true now i now i said it out loud you know and, and then it's like yeah I, you know what i was you know this inner conversation i was having you know now i just put it out there and now it's like Mm, no, that's that doesn't feel that doesn't feel real or true anymore. <laughs> you know now they said it, and it's kind of that same way with these like kind of like intense dark feelings, you know, and energies and stuff. Where it's just, like you kind of hide from it, try to push it away, but then like the more um, you're able to kind of just have some non-resistant thought, you know, almost the better. But you know, I think. It sounds like a, we got some drama or whatever going on behind me, so I'm gonna go. You know, so thanks everybody for liking, sharing, commenting, you know, all the social networking things. Uh, thank you for your spiritual support and your financial support. You know, thank you for that. And until the next now, God bless.